After my last video covering what ships I wanted added to War Thunder, I found quite a few more vessels I would like to see added. I'll probably make a series of this kind of video too, going through specific tiers or countries over time. I also want to keep a running tally of how many ships from previous videos have been added. So far the Cleveland, PR-56, Tone, Shimikaze, and Zara have been added, so 5 of the 13 from the previous video. This video is looking mostly at some weirder designs, like unique or unfinished ships that could add a bit of flavor to Naval. I won't touch on battle cruisers or larger at the moment, though I will talk about those at some point. Just like last time, I'll also put a special weird ship at the end. Now to get started, first comes America. I would like to see the USS Flagstaff added, but in a very specific configuration. During some tests, it was armed with a modified Sheridan turret with the same 152mm gun launcher as the light tank itself. It was even able to fire the same Shillelagh missile as the Sheridan. It would probably be a premium or event vehicle, and I'm unsure what battle rating it would even fit at, but I just think it would be a pretty cool addition as a unique hydrofoil in the American tree. Next up is another unique American ship, USS Norfolk. It's a destroyer leader with an armament of 8 3-inch cannons, using either 3-inch 50 caliber or 3-inch 70 caliber cannons, depending on what refit it's added in. With the 3-inch 50 caliber cannons, it would be a pretty good close-range destroyer at 4.3 or probably 4.7, and with the 3-inch 70 caliber cannons, it would be pretty great at 5.0 or even maybe 5.3. It would be pretty difficult to balance, but I think that the USS Norfolk could be a pretty interesting addition to either the US tech tree as an event ship or a premium. Next, on to Germany, with the first unfinished ship I'm putting in this series. Some ships of the Type 1936C class were laid down, but they were never finished, similar to the Comandati Medigli de Oro added in Update 1.101. Effectively, the 1936C was an improvement over previous German destroyers, having more firepower with six cannons split into three triple turrets. I think that the Z-46, one of the late on 1936Cs, would fit well after the 1936B in the German tree at either 4.3 or 4.7, depending on how well it performs. As a second German ship, the Project 131 Lebel would be a pretty strong tier 2 torpedo boat. They were designed in the 1970s by East Germany with 31 built, carrying two torpedoes and a dual ZSU-23-2 mount at the back. Since it's a native design, it would uniquely be an East German vehicle that's not shared in the Russian tree. It would be a good addition in the later line of Tier 2, maybe branching off the MZ-1 or Jaguar, probably with a battle rating of 3.7 to 4.3, depending on how the ZSU-23-2 does in naval forces. Now on to Russia, where I'm going back to the Cold War for vehicles, the Parsham-class Corvette. Effectively, this would be a slower and tankier PR-206M, sporting mostly the same armament as it. The most interesting part is that it has 8 SA and 5 anti-air missiles. While this might sound a bit overpowered, looking at the stats of the missile, I think it really wouldn't be. The Strela 2M missiles have a short range of around 4 kilometers, an impact fuse, and pretty poor tracking since they're an early SAM. Compared to the 10 kilometer range proxy fuse manually guided Natuno missile, it's pretty tame. I think it would be an alright addition after the PR-206M, probably at 4.3, being a slower and more survivable alternative with a special deterrence to aircraft. Now comes the British tree. First, a Daring class destroyer would help the British destroyer line with a better top ship. Effectively, the Daring class is similar to the Battle class, but has another dual 4.5 inch turret at the rear of the ship, bringing it to a total of 6 4.5 inch guns. It also has 6 40mm Bofors autocannons and 10 torpedoes. Overall, I think it would be a good 4.3 or 4.7 destroyer after either of the battle class destroyers in the British tech tree, giving them a better top ship for tier 3. Next is the Minotaur class light cruiser, a modification of the Crown Colony class which had one turret removed and trade for a significant increase in anti-air firepower. While this class doesn't offer a massive power increase over the current HMS Southampton, I think it would be nice to have when we finally get a higher top PR for cruisers. If some 5.7s were moved up to 6.0, the Minotaur could stay at 5.7, keeping the British cruiser line more fleshed out if we ever get the BRs decompressed. It's not a major addition, but it would help facilitate some BR expansion in the future. Second to last is Japan, versus the JSI Anami, a destroyer built by Japan after World War II. It's armed with 6 3-inch 50 caliber cannons, and since Gaijin gives us Japanese ships with 3-inch 50s like they used to give Japan twin-engine heavy fighters, I think that a ship of this class could be a fitting addition to their destroyer tree. 
which probably fit best at 4.3, likely as a brawler type ship with its rapid fire 3 inch cannons being able to beat most non American destroyers in a battle of damage output at closer ranges. Next is the Oyodo class cruiser, a planned successor to the Agano class. Only one was finished, but it has some pretty notable differences from the Agano. Just like the Tone, the entire rear deck is dedicated to seaplane operations, leaving six 155mm cannons placed at the front of the ship. The turrets are the same kind as the Suzuyas, meaning they're actually different from the Agano's 152mm cannons. In War Thunder, the Oyodo would be a slight upgrade over the Agano, carrying more anti-air weaponry and being able to engage bow on without any loss of primary firepower. I think it would fit at 5.3, either folded under or branching off of the Agano. The last main country I'll be covering is Italy, whose tree could certainly use a bit of fleshing out. This time I'll be focusing on their destroyers. First is the Leone class, which was built very shortly after World War I, but has a surprising amount of primary firepower. With eight 120mm cannons split into four turrets, it would provide more firepower than lots of the current Italian destroyers. The Leone would probably fit at 4.3 or 4.7 depending on how effective its guns are, maybe branching off of the Dardo or Corazziere to start a second destroyer line with a few new ships for Italy. Next for the Italian tree would be the Impetuoso class destroyer. The Impetuoso was a post-war Italian destroyer class, using the unfinished hull of the Comandati class destroyers mentioned previously and placing some American weapon systems onto it. The Impetuoso had four 5-inch 38 caliber cannons and 16 40mm Bofors auto cannons. It would fit very well after the Comandati in the Italian tree, since it's effectively the same hull, but being finished post-war with some different weaponry. Last is the special ship I mentioned, this time coming in maple flavor. The Restigouche class destroyer was a class of seven Canadian destroyer escorts. The most notable feature of them is having a dual 3-inch Mark VI Vickers twin mount, which is already present in War Thunder as the HMS Tiger's secondary weaponry. It would be a pretty unique destroyer, fitting well in the British tech tree, potentially as a premium or event ship. The rest of Gauche would represent another navy in War Thunder, along with bringing something unique to tier 3 due to its special primary armament. It would either be a 4.3 or 4.7, I don't see it going any higher than that, though it would be pretty effective at either BR. That's all for this one. Thank you for watching. The next edition of this will either be Battle Cruisers or American Cruisers, so be sure to vote for what you want in the comments below. I'll also link some forum posts with suggestions for these vessels in the comments, so be sure to vote on the ones that you want there. Some are pretty old or already passed on to the developers, though they have more information than I can provide in this video. Some don't have forum posts, but if fleshed out suggestion posts for them are made and sent to me, I'll add them to the pinned comment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more naval content.